Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's do a 3D example. An example in three dimensions. Notice the coordinates for the point uh, for the object that has mass equal to 2 is minus 1, 1, and 1. So it's actually one unit above the xy plane. It's in the back so that the x coordinate is negative 1. So it's in the negative direction on the x-axis, in the positive direction on the y-axis, in the positive direction on the z-axis. So that's the location. So let's find the elements, all nine of them, of the inertia tensor. So we have the mass for Ixx, the upper left diagonal element. We have the mass, which is now equal to 2 times y squared plus z squared. So we have uh, y, that's 1 squared, plus z, that's 1 squared. So we have 1 plus 1 is 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. The, the middle diagonal element, Iyy, is going to be 2 times x plus z, both of them squared, so minus 1 squared plus 1 squared. Again, that will be equal to about 2 times 2, which is 4. And for the izz term, we have 2 times x, which is a minus 1 squared plus 1 squared. And that's also going to be 4. So you see that the value for diagonal terms are all going to be equal to 4. Well, let's see now. What does that mean for the of diagonal elements. Well, let's calculate and see what they are. So we have a minus 2 times x times y. Now x is a negative 1, y is a positive 1. Negative times negative cancels out, so it leaves us with a 2. Over here we have a minus 2 times x times z, which is minus 1 times 1, which is also positive 2. And here we have a minus 2 times 1 times 1, which is a minus 2. So remember that for the of diagonal elements, we have two, or actually three pairs, two that have the same values. So that makes it easier. We only have to do this calculation six times instead of nine times. So those are the elements, all nine elements, of the inertia tensor when we have a three-dimensional situation. And notice we have values for every of diagonal element. So in the next video, we're going to lay that out and show you what that really means. What do we mean by the off diagonal elements? They all have a value. Some are positive, some are negative. So let's try to make some sense out of it. We'll show you how to do that on the next video.